The Seminoles win the Renegade Classic all behind Lacey Waldrop's second career no-hitter. She had nine strikeouts today as the Seminoles rout Troy today, mercy ruling them 8-0 in five innings. That was pretty good, especially with the timing. I had a few rough games, so it's really great to get back in and throwing how I know I can throw for my team, but I had great defense behind me, and it's really nice to only have to pitch five innings too, especially in the cold, so that's great. Lacey's really trying to figure herself out as a pitcher, and, and most young pitchers are doing you know that when they get their opportunities uh, their freshman, sophomore year. But um, she was tremendous. She came back with a, a different mentality, and we took a little different approach in how we face the hitters. And so that's something that's nice with uh, with Lacey is she's got some you know a lot of different pitches, so we can mix some stuff in there. So um, her demeanor was great, and the team was great behind her playing defense. Even with the only two runs in the first two innings, we were getting a run every inning, so we were very consistent with our hitting today. It wasn't spotty, so we just kept on the bats, especially with um, a few. Few different pitchers coming in so it was good adjustments on the batter's part. You always talk about is uh, peaking at the right time and, and obviously losing some some key people in the lineup. Um, some people are having to step up and um, you know take a, a little more of the, the tougher pitches and in certain parts of the lineup and, and they're doing great and the one thing that's been outstanding uh, with a, a lot of them is they're separating their defense from their offense and um, really giving quality on this side of the ball and then you know really doing what they can do offensively and uh, we're starting to mature as a team like that. That's a very big deal because I mean it shows that our team can really like emotionally come back and physically come back after two hard losses that you know it's going to happen but we can still make the adjustments after so it's good to know that we don't give up fight. It's been great uh, I talked about it yesterday just how much fun they're having and I can see now they're starting to bounce some fun uh, with a purpose they de they're definitely on a mission and a purpose uh, uh, to, to play together as a team to do the best individually what they need to do so it, it's been good to see. The Seminoles will be back at home on Tuesday as they take on Presbyterian at 6 p.m. Stay right here at Seminoles.com we have your complete Seminole coverage at the softball complex. Jonathan Schlacey, Seminoles.com.